welcome to day three of Rides and Trails. We started from Panjgani towards Kaspathar or Kaspathar, I'm not sure, still yet. A bit late in the morning because it was a short ride and from there everyone's, everyone was gonna disperse back to Pune or Mumbai, wherever they were from. The ride was really interesting because uh, I was supposed to help in marshalling today. So, marshalling essentially means st stopping at every turn and ensuring the whole file is together. No one's lost here or there. And happily enough, nobody got lost. So that was a good, it was all, it was a short ride anyway. But yeah. Now, this is the first time that I'm doing something like this, as in adding my voice. Earlier it was just visuals, a little bit of music to go along with it. And, but a lot of my friends said that adding these, adding this voiceover might help. Make the journey a bit more immersive, a bit more entertaining to watch. So here we are. Do leave some feedback if you feel about uh, what's good, what's bad about this. I'll definitely try to work on it. Because sharing journeys, going on journeys and sharing them is what I love doing. So here's the journey a bit ahead. What do I say? Like there's something really mesmerizing about, really exhilarating and peaceful about riding in tandem with fellow riders on roads like this. The hills looming over you, you know something exciting is coming right your way. And you can't take your eyes off it. Hills, have, hills and mountains have always had a special place in my heart because whenever my personal ego or uh, arrogance tends to go a bit high, I'm always humbled by just the presence of these hills around me. Riding through roads, roads like this, you have to be very careful. One miscalculated step and it's a direct one-way ticket. Roads look really enticing to speed on. Clean, kind of lack of traffic, so, and you can see it really far away. That makes it even more enticing. But yeah, one miscalculate step and you're gone. And the intrusive thoughts don't even help. Uh, good thing is I got music playing in my helmet always to keep me distracted from my intrusive thoughts. <laughs> oh yes, now the fun part of 
the ride towards Kaspar Harpagans. Now this is this it's kind of like this for the next 10 20 kilometers. This narrow broken roads under construction roads. Really fun to just really belt it, really sort it out. And the amazing suspension of the Himalayan 450 helps a lot to enjoy this process, the whole process. You can go balls out, literally, you can go balls out in these patches. Uh, my trick is to use a lot of rear brakes before corners so that even if I'm late, I am still drifting into the corner in case I slide or anything like that. My front doesn't give up because loose gravel, the small loose gravel that you see everywhere, that's, uh, well, I'm still scared of it, even after riding so much. And that's one type of terrain that really scares the shit out of me. Well, I'll just let you enjoy this whole thing. Bye-bye. Now, Kaspathar or Kaspathar was horrible, absolutely horrible. Kilometers long jam, literally kilometers long traffic jam, with no respite. It was hot and there was literally nothing to see. Uh, Jitin again had a puncture. But yeah, other than that, it was uh, Kaspathar itself was quite uneventful. And now we are, after being through Kaspathar, we are back on the way to Pune. I'm heading towards the highway. From there, we will go towards Saswar, then to V Dam, then from V Dam over to my house. Short ride remaining. Just enjoy the last part of it. Uh, me and Arpit, it's just two of us that split off from the group. Everyone essentially dispersed from there with a heavy heart. But the ride is over. We spent a lot of time in the last Chai Tapri and uh, sat there discussing, gossiping with each other, just talking, discussing the whole three days. It was fun. I'd like to do it again very soon. Yeah.